like it. There's no way. Here we go. Get into game one on bats. Bat. The classic northeast starter. Yeah, I was about to say with with these two, it's it kind of to be expected here. All right. Finally, it's, it feels weird watching a, a quote-unquote normal matchup after these two first... Like a, like actual, as close to real melee as you can get. Yeah, well, it's still, still like a big gap between this and real melee, but like like you said, as close as we can get. A very slow start with these two players feeling, themselves, feeling each other out, though. Kind of trying to figure out what's going on here. I think it would be generally... Using a lot of up tilts and back airs. Mm -hmm. Generally expected this is a pretty good matchup for Falco. Falco is able to combo Sheik pretty well, but I guess in the same turn, uh, you can get a lot of tech chase, free grab stuff with Sheik as well. So very, very interesting match here um, with uh, Thorn taking an early lead, getting those nice edge cancels, using the best move in net play. Falco has a lot of the, the best move in net plays in his kit, for better or for worse. He ain't, he ain't no Marth, though. Yeah, no. Marth can just just swing and win. Ooh, cool. So again, we're seeing a, a Thorn starting a whole lot earlier than we saw Warmer do in his game with these lasers, getting getting that chip damage. Especially here, really great situation to be using that because if he takes a weird trade at this percent, he's probably just gonna die because of Falco's uh, survivability. Um, oops, a bit of Thorn and. Thorn in general playing really safe. He's using the top platform a lot, using a lot of lasers, back airs, up tilts. He's playing a very defensive Falco. He really does not want to get grabbed. Yeah. And we're seeing some really nice tech chase pr getting pretty much even there from JPlex. And will Thorn be able to finish out this Edgard? A little bit of a lengthy one to push them to the other side of the stage, but nothing there. Oh, okay. Slap. That going to be it? Okay, yeah. Surprisingly, uh, JFlex is able has been able to get back, even though with Sheik's uh, pretty bad recovery, been able to get a lot here, and he should be able to clean up that edge guard. Yeah, that's going to be it there. He's pretty much back to even, and you can see that the game speeding up at a little bit points there. I'm finally realizing that you can use tab. I forget who told me that you can use tab to catch up with the game if you were lagging. So that's what that during JFlex's tech chase. That's what it was catching up here, and we're probably going to see a little bit more of that. I'm trying to just space it so we're getting some nice stuff here, and that should kill. Pretty much back to even between these two. Mm. I'm trying to identify anything. Have you noticed anything that JFlex has been doing different between this early part of the game and late part of the game as he starts to slowly itch this lead away? Well, this, um, is, this is a good... Tech Chase free grab is a good thing to ooh. definitely do with Sheik. Yeah, when it's, it's just that when he gets his grabs, he can, he can re he's been getting a lot of pretty good tech chases on it. Nice. And oh. he's been recovering really well too, yeah. which has been helping him. You see that there again. Yeah, even in those uh, situations where he's getting hit on the recovery, see what Falco does to get back. He's able to cover the best move on that play and takes his first lead of the set. Looking real nice from JFlex. Like you're saying, getting a lot. Oh, okay. Being able to recover and getting a lot off those grabs. All right. Last stock. Game one. Let's see what we got here. Sammy singles, baby. All right, there's a grab. This could be huge. Oh, he gets nothing off of it. And JFlex kind of, uh, and Thorn kind of gets an opening there, but again, really isn't able to get too much. Right, we're just kind of going back and forth, getting a little more nervous. He's not going to go for it all with that that dare over there. Probably safe call. Again, another grab. Let's see how much he gets. Goes for this safe up smash, gets hit with a get-up attack. Yeah, really, those two grabs, not getting enough off that might cost him. Back throw in another situation for an edge guard. Oh, man. Oh, 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 wow. Oh. <laughs> and a, a real exciting ending to that game. I think you, you made a really good point uh, to that with JFlex getting so much off of those grabs. Um, except for those those last stock ones, you could put that up maybe a little bit to spaghetti. But JFlex has been getting a lot off those grabs and getting back on recoveries where he probably shouldn't be. Uh, indeed, his recovery has been pretty good sheik's recovery is a lot more subtle than i think people give it credit for it has a couple different lengths you can do and it's a it's a really interesting recovery i think on the surface it looks really simple but there's a couple little things you can do 
but even even the scenario where it's like a, a rock paper scissors or a 50 50 situation if you're able to have get in your opponent's head enough or have those options especially on these stages with with platforms near the edge where you can mix it up recovering there that that little winning that a handful of times could decide the set yeah, indeed so it's looking like so, thorns looking it's a fun for, matchup yeah for sure really really fun because both these characters can really combo the hell out of each other um it's looking like thorn uh went opted for a longer stage to maybe yeah. use some of these lasers all right here we go this is gonna uh, oh going, going out there yeah but it I think this is like we we're, like were just touching on. This is going to be where this match, and especially this game two, is decided. We need to see Thorn finish off these edge guards, and he's just not able to do it there. And J Flex is going to get a chance for a rebuttal, and he is he's got quite a strong rebuttal there, getting a decent amount of percent, even if he's dying again here in this edge guard scenario. Yeah, no. Thorn just hasn't been able to finish these off, and a jab nair, interesting kill setup, but that will take the lead here for Thorn. Hey. And in turn, Thorn is able to, Thorn is not able to get back and s switch up those edge guard recoveries like JFlex has been doing to him, evening up the game. Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, this is a very back and forth matchup. They're both, they both have a solid game plan and they're both executing it pretty decently. Stadium playing out, getting a little bit weird in that setup. JFlex deciding to try to go for the regrab instead of, oh, the laser reset on the windmill? All right, all right, Thorn. That's some intimate knowledge of the game you, you see a lot it's with fun. these old school players. All right. It's it's some fun times. Yeah, like they, they've they seen this stuff. They've seen this stuff for so long. All right, so what's he got? J Fox up air, up air. Not able to get anything more off that because of how high percent Falco is. Treating the ledge. Interesting to run away and make that space. And is that going to be it? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, no, yeah, okay. Thorn is able to sneak a little bit more of these edge guards back. Um, where it's been making the money here. And will JFlex be able to finish off the stock? Down throw, tech chase, not able to get it. Yeah. Uh, he, needs to, he needs to get more of his graph follow ups, dude. Mm -hmm. okay. I feel like he's been getting less as the set's been going on. It looks like. J Flex gets that grab, is able to finish it off, take this lead back, and see if he can sneak in any more percent here before he dies. And it does not look like it is to even up back up two stocks apiece. Right. Another reset in the neutral, trying to get that little bit of chip damage. Rock transformation definitely going to play a role here. Without separate there right now, we might just see them wait this one out, which would also be great because it'd give me time to speed this up to get caught up with them. Okay. Got yeah. it. Okay, no, that, that's Why already caught up with the up game. Again? Uh, it's tab. <laughs> Tab, if you like live for a little bit. I was really hoping that we were far enough behind that I hit tab and the rock transformation was gone, but alas. I wish I had one of those last I'm pressing, week for, I'm, for... I'm pressing tab and nothing's happening. Yeah, so that means you're all caught up. <laughs> that means we're still here on the rock transformation. You can believe hard enough that it's going to be over, but we'll see. I do have something in the works. I, no, no spoilerinos for future projects, but I do have something in the works to try out some some interesting rule sets but i we should focus on the match this is, here because this is definitely some spoiler renos yeah um <laughs> you're gonna see if j flex is able to keep this like slight inch ahead he's had of thorn this entire game and finish it off in two games or if thorn is able to oh edgeguard situation oh goes very down there he's able to get back for it really has been the this this game has been been spoken on the ledge both these guys have been hitting real hard another tech chase scenario interesting yeah Three times Thorn has gone for it. I don't think he's been able to get anything off that down throw check case. Fourth time's a charm? No. It's just not working. And I know it, it, it definitely is difficult for Falco to get follow-ups on some of his grabs, but it's definitely not working here, despite the fact that Thorn's able to get these grabs. All right, edgeguard scenario. Oh, okay. Netplay says give him a shot. Yep. <laughs> Let's go, Netflix. Oh, and then JFlex says, give me one opening and I'm going to end your whole career. Legacy? I don't think so. Go, Netflix. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can Thorn sneak this one out a little bit? Thorn wants a game three. He's going to... Okay, here we go. Falco, one shine. Can he get it? 
Dodge. Spot Dodge definitely not how he wanted to keep that momentum going, but this is looking pretty nice. Uh-oh. Keep it going. Keep it going. He's afraid of that grab. Back here. Back here's not going to do it. Okay, this is this is where he needs to capitalize. He's faltered so many points in this set, and he's going to be able to do it. It looks like J-Flex was going for that arms attack, and the DI just carried him all the way away. Uh, so we're going to go in here to game the game three. Really hard to to guess who's favoring in this one, how back and forth it's been. It's, uh, they've both been, they've both been giving it all they got. <laughs> bueno Turtle gave a great, I think the, the best quote that could be said about all this, damn, this is a net play asset, and I so much agree. So, uh, Definitely. it's going to be JFlex's counter pick. <laughs> um, I, I'm trying gonna to guess... Mm. I'm gonna guess. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm still. Maybe a, FOD. FOD might be a good choice. I'm still, uh, because I I recently I'm I understand these two characters the most because I recently pe picked up Sheik as a secondary. I'm like a Falco Sheik main. God bless my soul. But I'm still learning on like where Sheiks are looking to go. But generally, it's stages where you can recover or and or having platforms to mix up your recovery make it a little bit better. So it looks like JFlex wants this little bit of space, but that may come back to bite him in the ass if Thorn's able to do what he's doing right now and get these lasers. Um, and if he's able to keep that combo momentum. Oh, or just... Or you could just do this. Nah. Oh. Very dangerous scenario. So then back and forth off that ledge. So let's see. Let's see how this goes out. Just kind of, and it's really, it's it's so back and forth and back back and forth. And I think Thorn getting that that conf, that combo and that extra confidence boost at the end of the last game is going to be huge. And JFlex not even with that pretty bad DI that we saw kind of ruin that last stop for him. Oh my, okay. Now he's getting those tech chases off the down throw. It's looking like a whole new man Coming in back. this game three. Thorn's got it. Okay, can you get back to the ledge though? Best move in the game. <laughs> Oh, we're a, we're a little bit behind here. We're gonna get that sped up. I didn't think I was that far behind. Tech Chase, oh, going for that spot dodge. Side game back to the ledge. That might be it. A nice needle snipe. And okay, no. Yeah, we're we're seeing a, uh, these tables turn in this this later game where Thorn is getting more off his combos and able to recover more. And J Flex is when he gets off stage dying. Let's see, Thorn, are we seeing that same confidence? Okay, no, maybe a bit of a commentator's curse as it's even back up right there. <laughs> Back caught up, three stocks apiece, with Thorn this having is, quite a big a, lead over JFlex. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good set. Yeah, I'm for for net play. Yeah, you always got to put that little asterisk, the qualifying <laughs> statement. All right, JFlex, do the chic well, thing. I felt like I've... a grab is death if everything goes right. Up smash, up smash. Uh, and that's going to be pushing too far away. He's not going to be able to finish that one out with stock. But getting real close to even back and forth. The pendulum swings and swings. And who's going to come out on top? All right. Mixing up. He's been going for almost exclusively down throws. And he's going to be able to finish that one out. See, Thorne is starting to clean it up. Adaptation is the name of the game here. As we go into a two-stock match. Game three. Third match of the day. I don't know how deep in the bracket. I imagine with two talented players of this caliber, we're getting close to getting those top 12 qualifiers, but we will have to wait and see after this one. Oh, grab. Could be death, or also could just be five damage. Get up attack to try to cool him down. Back throw off. Can he get the gimp? He's been getting a lot of needle snipes. Waits instead for the back air, and... I don't know what Thorn was doing, DI far out, and with Falco's stubby little wings not able to fly back, and JFlex swings that pendulum back and forth and right back in his favor, but Thorn brought this last stock back in that last game, so let's see what he's able to do here. He could do it again. Yeah, he's gonna do it again. Are we gonna, are we gonna see? He's gonna finish it out before taking any damage. Are we gonna see Sammy singles again on the wrong stage? Ooh, no, no. okay. JFlex, he could kill him here, or yeah, again. Every sheet grab could be the worst thing in the world, or just one or zero re-grabs. It's a it's a bit of a mixed bag here. Okay, edge guard again. The story, the line, the storyline we've been talking about this. 
can he continue to finish off these head guards? I was about to say, we haven't seen J Flex go for the ledge, and even though it looks like he was a little bit too far away to get that re grab anyway. But last stock here, real close. Oh, is Thorn gonna do it again? Gonna pull off some beautiful oh combos here. J Flex trying to slow it down, get these little bit of pieces there with the needles. Oh, Lord. Okay, down throw check chase, not able to get it again. Goes with the charge up smash, really just maybe seeing a little bit of this He's, last uh... game, last stock nerves. Back throw for the game. Yeah, maybe he just gave up on the tech chase. Yeah. Oh, forward throw. Needles? Oh, he's gonna snap to ledge. Does the old man roll up? Okay. Again, I, I like I like the mix up by Thorn going a lot for. Okay, now going mixing up between these forward throws and those down throw tech chases. Does not get the slide off. Puts him in a pretty precarious situation, but is able to sneak his way out of it. Oh no! The wind blows not in his favor. <sighs> And Thorn, after an incredible comeback in that game two, is not able to close it out in game three. Game three as J Flex advances on on winner's side of the bracket.